I don't need no man. I don't need no man. I don't give a fuck a plane a lot. This is literally my platform. With that being said, I literally don't want to be here. Life is not fun. I'm not having fun at all. And I decided to lay down like a fine ready little Caesar's pizza and have two pizza, minutes. Pizza. So I literally pizza, can't pizza. do nothing to myself. I I have kids. With that being said, housing is the most depressing thing to deal with as a young adult. And if one more of my white friends that I grew up with asks me why my parents can't co-sign, I'm going to slap the you. We live two different lives. My parents cannot co-sign on a loan for a penny. These independent, strong, successful women. With that being said, all the affordable apartments are listed and all the unaffordable apartments are moving ready. Of course, y'all have 147 units ready because y'all are $1,800 for a two-family room. Nobody's moving into that, shoot. Drove all the way to Larissa because I'm willing to humble myself to go as far as I can to get a cheap apartment. And to my knowledge, even though two people I know just moved in, to my knowledge, it's a wait list of 300 people on it. You want to know why it's a wait list of 300 people on it? Because these are two bedrooms, updated appliances, utilities included for $900. I'm not sure who's slipping dollar bills to these Econo Lounge strippers, but I've heard stories of a time when exotic dancers looked like Debbie Moore or Lisa Ray McCoy. Now, I'm not saying the bar's been lowered. But if folks are paying this Halloween skeleton to drop down and get her eagle on, we might need to rethink our life choices. But carry on. <laughs> Nobody's moving out. Then the leasing agent was like, lease renewals are coming up for all the people that moved in last year in November. Somebody might move out and there's still 300 people in front of me. You gonna skip all 300 people and come to my station? No, no, I hate being discouraged. No, no, I don't even want the vacation. And then I go toward these new apartments in Lithia Springs and they're $1,800 plus $100 for the utility package. So $1,900. That's not including rent. It's not including electricity. That's not including school's tuition. That's not including my car. No, and my, my car, no, my car insurance by itself is a thousand. I know I saw my life. I, I signed the worst. I signed death row on that. I know that you don't have to think. I know that. Mm. And it don't matter how much money I make. It don't matter how many nights I'm in a strip club. How many nights I'm in a strip club. It don't matter if I pick up a part-time, second time. It don't matter. Never it. If shaking your box isn't covering the rent, that's the universe serving you a slice of humble pie. Look, if your box isn't pulling in at least 4000 a month, don't be too quick to quit that day job. <laughs> it's time to get cozy at that fry station. Help Trump with that salt distribution. <laughs> and don't forget to take my order with a smile, darling. <laughs> or better yet, track down your baby father or fathers and beg for forgiveness. Propose a family reunion, not for romance, but for financial freedom and a solid retirement plan. Forget your feelings or happiness. Aim for a safe haven where you can raise those spoiled kids in peace. Because let's face it, you're not the pick of the litter at this point. At this point. At this point. I don't need no man. A few moments later. It's nothing more annoying than coming home after a night out and you look cute and you're about to take off your makeup and you want to call me in and you don't have no man. You don't have a roster. You're not talking to nobody. Like, it's whack. I just got to take this off. And, you know, I can cute for myself, but it's like, dang, I want to call my man who does not exist and debrief about what was going on in my night. Like, Independent black woman. But I am, I, I feel like I'm dying from like touch starvation, y'all. I don't, I, this isn't, I don't, I don't get hugs. I don't know. I feel like if I were to get the kind of hug that I really want, I would crumble into pieces. I... I don't... How do you deal with that? I really... Like, like need to be, like, touched. And I know someone's gonna say, like, Okay, go to the salon and get your hair done. Or get a massage. Or or get your nails done, right? So someone can hold your hand. None of those people love me. None of those people... None of those services love me. Many women, even the stunning ones, know this truth all too well despite the constant attention many are lonely inside 
aware that most men don't truly love them. They're simply passing the time, driven by lust. It's like the wealthy man who, despite all the women he sleeps with, knows none of them love him for who he really is. They're there for what he can give, not for him. Now imagine how this feels for women who aren't uh, traditionally beautiful. For them, it's even worse. They sleep with men who can't even meet their gaze, who are repulsed by their presence as soon as the thrill fades. It's a harsh, unspoken truth, one that pride keeps most women from admitting. Right? Yeah, I think that's it. But I am really, I'm really struggling. I'm really struggling with like. I don't, I don't get hugs. That's just. It, it could be like maybe a hello, a, you know, a whatever, maybe. Um, but it's not enough. I don't know how. I don't know how you. How am I going to go the rest of my life like this? I, I think that that's really hard. I don't, there's no... I really, I'm just really struggling. I'm really struggling. Like I spent like last night just going like this. Twenty minutes. I. I yeah. Uh, I'm just. If anyone else is struggling, what are you? What are you doing? My brothers, unlike the modern woman, we will not play the victim. No, we will rise. We will forge ourselves into the best versions of who we can be, mind, body, and spirit. Despair, never that. For we are berserkers. We don't surrender. We conquer, pillage, and plunder, and never show pity. If we must, we will reinvent the wheel, set it on fire, and roll it to glory. Wealth, prestige, and the most succulent tenderloin are entitled to us. But listen, never let anyone catch you hunched over and weeping for a woman's touch, especially when you've got a passport in hand and a few dollars to your name. For that, my friends, is blasphemy. blasphemy. <laughs> but wait a minute. You didn't smash the bell and press the like button. Blasphemy. 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 And although you will never be worthy of a monarch such as myself, the Lord Destro would suggest that you poor fools at least give oligarchy a try. So we, 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 we,